right. I forgot to press record. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so that pearl of wisdom, I'll have to, I, I can add that bit on um, later. That only mm. takes a few minutes to do. It wasn't really for you guys, but I noticed a lot of, um, because I put them on YouTube and make them public, I, I could make them private, you know, just for us, but I thought, oh, what the heck? There's nothing, no secrets. Um, okay. Other people looking at them, so I thought, hmm, I might, if you get little snippets like that, which is like a, you know, a little brief introduction to paint in a sky it's nice to have it in the video people might like them if i get a hundred thousand subscribers i can pack this up and can retire <laughs> yeah, i basically am <laughs> I? Wow, i don't want to <clears throat> i quite like <clears throat> the way it is got frog in my throat now i'm just using this i nearly said a mouse brush it's a squirrel and <laughs> a mop maybe i just i'm not where i'm painting i've got brilliant light because the window is right in front of me it's a window but under the window is the radiator so it's a combination of heat and light dries it out quite quickly i notice it with my palette if i leave it there you know for an hour or so and it's all the paints dry up ever so quick so anyway let's go for it <gasps> brush to use it's I'm just going to go for a little round one for a minute. Start at the horizon. horizon. See, it's not that wet, is it? Normally that would go, that'd be running down the page by now. So I've just had a bit more water. The paper I'm using is the um, Two Rivers one from... Jackson's. I seem to be using that all the time now. Probably because I've bought a load of it. <clears throat> Sounds right. Let's see what happens. It's really, it really seems funny using raw sienna in the sky for me. I don't, it's not one of my pet, pro, pet um, colours. It's more of I always think of it as a sort of beginner's type sky, but it isn't, is it? It's a quite a nice sort of traditional type sky. Oh, blimey, that's strong. I told you it wasn't wet enough. It is now. Yeah. Well, hopefully it will fade, fade away. I'm just trying to fill in the gaps. Don't know why I bother turning it up, upside down now. Because the, the paint's not particularly rushing its way into. It could be the paper's just a bit harsh. It does go off. That's why I've got a seagull entering the scene here. I think I'll turn it back the right way up. I'll use. A little bit of that rose matter. I've got it. Add it to that blue mixture that I put in. And I think I'll just try and come in from the diagonals, which is try and make it look. I think it was because I mentioned. Um, Herman and Lily and thought uh, oh, monsters <laughs> that this sky suddenly became attractive because it's <laughs> sort of a 
bit of a wow. Might have to lift a bit some more for that other color. Uh, we'll see, you know. I'm not while it's damp. I'll just keep going, see what happens. But coming in from the diagonals, as I invariably why did, do. So if we did get, you, sorry, why did you choose raw sienna? You don't normally use that one, do you? No, that's because it. Well, that's the. It is a sky color. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, it, just it, it does work. So, yeah. but apart from the fact that I'm too, did you see that? I'm just using the yeah. tissue to wipe off the horizon bit. I've left it for a little while, deliberately because um, it will. It is a stainy, staining type color. So I kind of guessed that it was. Like over this side, it's it's sort of holding its station in terms of it's not going to lift heavily. You know, it's not going to. Even though I've rubbed it with the tissue, it's not all going to come out. Some of it's going to stick there. I'm going to have to turn it back up the other way in a minute to twinkle. All I'm doing is just lifting little bits of the light blue permanent, uh, is it permanent rose? I, I, it's just rose, I don't know, even thought about it really. But I was hearing crimson similar. And then it's just a question of having fun with the sky, isn't it? And tissue in, if you can lift off. Well, there's two trains of thoughts with these. If you just take your brush and dry it off, you can lift it off quite nicely. Don't just where it's run back a bit. Haven't used much paint on the mix much paint on the on the edge of the paper like I normally do today. This looks a bit dull here. So we want some fluffy clay bits. We can just lift them off. Just roll your brush. Oops, <laughs> I'll throw it, roll, roll it. <laughs> you just roll it a little bit. You can get some, some little areas. That's not too bad. Quite traditional type. I don't know, David Bellamy type sky, he does those, didn't he? When you first start learning, you buy David Bellamy's book, like painting landscape book or whatever it's called now. And that's what he uses. But it's ultramarine, which I don't don't use in sky at all. But mixing it with the If you've got Alzerian crimson, or in my case, rose madder, did I say it's not? I don't know if it's permanent rose or just rose madder. I don't know, but it doubles up for skin and every, um, flesh, skin tones, everything. Bear in mind that's gonna, it's the nature of the beast that's gonna fade back quite a lot. I'm not sure about this bit here. So what I'm going to do, while it's still really damp, get a small brush and just mix up a little bit more of that shadowy colour. See so if I can drop a bit in. Don't know. Bolt of lightning. Maybe not. I think I'll just lift it with a bit of tissue. Always a precious moment doing the sky, isn't it? Because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> well, especially watercolour ones. I think I'll put a couple of horizontals here and match them over here. Trouble is, as it dries, um, the natural 
sort of contraction absorption or it leaves little um sort of dry areas lines that you think cool oh, blimey that's a hard edge of a clown form in there and then you'll also find areas like just there that shouldn't that are too white they don't need to be like that but it's such a personal thing everyone's going to see it totally totally different which makes it that's why we don't all paint the same sky i suppose not sure about that line there these are fine i'm just putting them really light thinking they might look nice in the distance mm -hmm. <laughs> Must be happy I'm starting to sing now. Oh, cool. But it it's not too bad. When it dries back, it'll be fine. While we're doing while I'm in the mood, I'm gonna make the foreground wet. Or that's rough. Um, make this make the foreground damp. It's on a hill, isn't it? I can't remember if I've ever been there. It's one of those. Have I? Uh, did Dad take us when we were kids or not? I suppose really for um, local colour. values, you know, keeping everything balanced ought, ought to stick with the raw sienna on here and just mix a bit of blue on top. Hope we'll get some nice greeny flavour. I've just dropping it where I've where I've made it wet. I don't want it to be overpowering because at some point I'm going to whack a got a sort of this sort of rockery or whatever it is. That's good. Yeah. Hmm. So while it's like that, should we drop a little bit of blue in so we can get some sort of not too much. Sort of a green uh, it won't it won't work. Okay. I want it to be fairly green. So I'm just gonna I've got a little bit of um hooker's green there. So I'm just gonna drop that in for a minute. See if that'll help. The problem with raw sienna. More sienna and blue don't make a very um, strong green. But if you've got any other yellow, feel free to use it. Even that's gone really dark. But it should reflect the sky, shouldn't it? That was just a bit of cadmium yellow light and a bit of green and dropped some of that sky purpley colour in there and it's gone, yeah, fairly green. But we're still damp, so we can drop, drop a few bits. It's a bit like painting Corf Castle, this guy. Mm. From, from a I'm a local type perspective. Nice there. Where it's drop the way it's drizzling down. I quite like that. I'll twist it the other way in a minute. Oh um, I say though, the most <laughs> the, the hardest thing about this picture is not painting it, it's what not to paint in it. Leave what to leave out. 
but then that's the classic watercolor. This is just clean water now. Try and soften these some of these edges down. It's the classic watercolor thing, isn't it? It's not what you put in; it's what you leave out that makes the makes the picture really nice or interesting, gives it extra value which is the one thing that you forget all about when you, after you've been painting for a long time. Yeah, it seems to be falling downwards. Awesome. The sky's drying back quite nice. It will be. Next obstacle or thing to think about if I get my little bit of tissue again. It's always the way, isn't it? One you do on the bit of board is better than the one you do on the paper. <laughs> am I bothered? Yes, I am. Right. The um, next thing is, is to have a think about what we're going to do with the building, what sort of colours to involve. Just lately, well, for quite some time really, I've been using one of my standard colours is the flesh tone. So we've got that option. A water down versus water. Water, not water, water. Water down. I didn't know I could speak posh, did you? A water down. I'm not thinking about um, the dark areas. I'm just thinking of a, a background tone for it. So we could use a flesh, watery flesh colour. My other option, or my other thoughts rather, was raw sienna, which is really great for that sort of thing. To do that, I think water on the on the area you're going to do first classic watercolor thing and then I'm using the edge of my board to use as a palette and then drop it drop the raw sienna in gives you a stay this sand didn't it or I how to do the beaches does work but I, th I prefer the fleshy tone so how do we make flesh we can use raw sienna and a little bit of rose madder gives us a nice fleshy tone there we go so maybe that would be a better option because that, that will give me more control wouldn't it in other words if I clean water on the board drop in some colour and if I think areas of need to be darker or lighter I can drop in some burnt sienna or a little bit of the doodle so I think I think that's a key way to go so what I'm going to do first and the raw sienna is the local colour in other words, we've used it in the sky, I've used used it in the grass. So why not stick with that theme? <gasps> oh fierce. Just, I know it's watercolour. But I need quite a bit of it, so I'm just gonna add a bit of rosy in there. At least you're not watching paint dry today. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Gives you a nice sort of, it's quite a dark flesh tone, isn't it? But I'm not fussed about that. Have fun then. I think I'll just give it a zuzz with a hairdryer. Only because I don't want the 
it all to bleed off into the sky. Oops. Sun's out. I'm looking out the window. Not out here. It's gone all sunny on there. No, well, it's not quite reached here either. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, it's looking very grey and wintry. Mm. You heard from Mary, Joyce? I had a letter from her last month. I think we we actually had letters that crossed. Right. Um, she's she's fine. Um, quite anxious to get back to group. Yeah. And um, she's obviously not been able to attempt Zoom. She did yeah. say because um, I know Dave and I both sent information. She did say she'd ask her son, but obviously that hasn't happened. Mm. But she said they're not they're not doing a lot. They're staying very much um, on their own. Right. What I'm going to do first, though, eh, is grab a little bit of it's just a teeny bit of cerulean blue in this palette, and using a rigger, which that ain't. Wanted a rigger. Let's find a bit more of that cerulean blue. I'm just going to repeat the process and put in some blue where I think might be windows. Because I'll, I'll, I'll lose them. God, he's looking at the picture tomorrow. I think, sure, they have windows. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need a lot. Just a, it's just a, a subtle reminder to say there are windows. I'm using the blue just because it's. Um, I think it. Um, so it's just an underpainting anyway. This is blocking in, isn't it? What I'm doing, setting the scene for putting some more detail in at some point. One thing I found, I discovered. I think I mentioned it before, is that these. Um, I see these black wing pencils advertised and advocated quite a lot as premier drawing pencils. They, they're okay. Um, they ain't cheap. Something stupid like 15 quid or whatever. I don't know, it's a ridiculous price. Maybe not that. But they're not like normal yellow ones, HBs. They're seriously expensive. Problem is, you can't rub them out. I don't know what they've made, what they've got in them. But I've used it on here and I'm, I'm not going to do it again. Because when you come to rub out, you know, all your pencil lines to define, you know, just, I don't know, make it look nice. You can't get them out. The splash evidently clean water. We can tease a castle out of this. Where's the mop? Shall I use the mop? I will. Take off the access. I want to have a word with my wife in a minute as well. I forgot about that. Something bothering me. This will make you laugh this well. That's a little puppy. Oh, mm. mad. <laughs> it's taken over like they do. It's like having a baby, isn't it? <laughs> taking over the, the whole shooting match here. See why I dried the windows off because I'm using clean water now. I don't know if they move a bit. 
I did notice that this end gable or whatever it is of the house was a whiter, lighter colour a bit. So it'll be interesting to see if it is on mine. Right. Then this paper is so absorbent. Maybe it's not two rivers that I thought it was. I'm going to make the whole. I think it'd be easier just to spray it. The only reason I'm being pedantic or fussy about it is, oops, don't want it in the sea. Because I want the my um, flesh tone to to run, to to flush away, you know, to give me some nice, hopefully some nice variations. I had a lovely brush here a minute ago. Oh, this. Here we go then. I'm going in. I'm in. <laughs> this is that mix of also, you know, just that man-made, homemade flesh tint. Careful mm. there, because those are turrets. We don't want turrets in the sky. There's gaps between them. That's the problem with these type of um, pictures. There's so so much detail in it. Mm -hmm. When you come to sketch it, and when you well, you know, when you sketch it, you put loads of detail in, and then when you come to paint it, you forget. The thing that you were, there's, there's always something you notice when, you, when you're sketching, you think, oh, I'll have to watch that when I paint it. When you kind of paint it, because <laughs> there are so many, you forget where they are mm. or what they were. And then invariably end up chasing your tail, painting over them and under, you know, and undoing your, your own mess. You can see why I, what I'm on about, that I wanted it to, I made it wet. I want it all to blend and soften down and see what happens. I'm still adding water to this brush now. But I did mix up. I thought I mixed up a lot, but it's either it's evaporating quick or this paper is definitely soaking up. When you do this, you can spend a bit more care over it than I am perhaps and um, have a look at your reference image for areas there's areas of it that feel lighter or darker you know shadowies and if you squint your eyes up you can see that oh, that side's a bit darker or, or a bit lighter just give it some sort of variation. So, what's he on about? <laughs> oh dear. This is the relaxing bit now. We're on a home run. Oh, I can feel that crab sandwich already. Kathy and Rob are coming over today. Didn't quite catch that, Chris. No, I didn't. It was a bit. No, Kathy. Kathy and Rob are at a half. Are coming over today at half past twelve ish. Depends. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So, you never know. If they get here a bit early, you'll be able to say hello, Dave. Now you know, Kathy. <laughs> My Emily's moved in, moving house this week. I don't know if it's, no, it's Friday, I think. They just bought another house in New Milton down the road. Mm -hmm. And see what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this to soften, soften it down. But 
just so, and as it dries, it will give you the the shadowy areas that you're looking for. Um, I'm just looking at the picture, and I'm actually lifting bits off here. Just press press down because it's dark in this quadrant, but not so so much here. Da, da, da. Oh, that's not too bad actually. I'm quite I'm quite happy. Well, I've got a bit of paint left. I'm going to keep going. Just blocking in, really. Some sort of. What's the um? Like we did with the portrait. First time we did the portrait, let's get some raw sienna and squish it all over the the white paper right from the start. <laughs> Random. Whoa! What are you doing that for? Just to show the white paper who's in charge, because it's very intimidating. Well, I think it is. It's going to be, I'm running out of paint. Which is the beauty of mixing our own, isn't it? Because if you run out, you know that it's just raw sienna, a bit of the pinky red colour and away we go. Where you can cheat and grab old some of the pinky, the flesh tin, uh, flesh paint that came out of the tube, and drop some of that in, like I've just done. It's graceful. I'm just looking now at adding stronger bits of. This sort of freshly built one. I'm I'm using it as the as the building colour. My, on my. I was going to say my hope is that it fades back quite light. But if it don't, or if I was perturbed by it, then I use the white gouache anyway so i'll do it just for a laugh just to, to show the variations that it's possible but if you want to make it uh milkier just add a little bit of white to it a lot of purist white in watercolor you can't use watercolor white well sorry i'm going against the flow I quite like that. Really, it's, it's only a background tone anyway. I figure if I use white now, if I when I open those watercolor, um, water soluble oil paints, I won't be so intimidated. <laughs> but I don't think it matters. Especially on um, on buildings and things, because they're man-made. Remember, I was always on about the beach huts. As it dries, this is not finished paper. Um, as it dries, you'll start. You'll get like bricks forming, for want of a better term. You'll start seeing. I can see like. Where the paper has that not rumbly surface and the paint dries more in one area than the other, it leaves a, a lovely speckledy effect, brick effect, even Dave. Yeah, like that. So the next, what am I going to go next? Well, we've got our flesh tone. 
So let's mix up some dark values. So for that, I'm thinking I'm, think I'm going to add some burnt sienna, raw sienna, more or less the same sort of thing, and add some burnt umber to it. And that'll give us a, a really nice complementary dark tone. If I add some blue to it, it'll go really, that'll really set the scene. It won't go black, but it will go really dark. But because we're nice and damp, or we will be, if I need to redamp a bit, fine. But these are three sort of subtle colours of today's work, really. And now the boring, well, the interesting bit, not boring, the time consuming piece, really, is to find some of the Still, see how damp it is. The way that um, just whoosh spread. Let's just look for some shadowy areas and pick them out. You're really drawing with a brush at this stage. I'll drop it in. That's all I'm going to do now. We've done a few castles in, over the weeks, haven't we? Mm. I was only thinking the other day. Oh, yeah. What do we do? Quite enjoy doing course, these. Course yeah, castle. there was that uh, Whittington Castle. Whittington. That was a nice one. It's a nice yeah. castle. Isn't it? Well, the question now is, and what's the th the secret move your arm not the not your hand try it it's not easy mm -hmm. but it's but i think it's the important thing today is to is the lack of colors really just a few I'm still using the original purple, and I've just added a bit of blue to it, a fleshy tone to it. So that's about it, really. See if I can find some light. It's a bit monotonous now because all you can do is spend time looking for dark areas and just pop them in. Should really start at the top and work your way down, but I've never been conventional. The um, I think I might sit down for this. Might be able to see a bit better. It's the um, just do, do, do. well, I've got those pencil lines. When I was drawing it, I was conscious that um, what the stronger lines were, I thought um, shadows were. And all you can do, well, the thing to do is to just keep putting them in. I add a little bit of Mix up a little bit more of that blue purple mix that I've got in the sky. That should drop in. 
Man, keep going. Don't look away. It's the rigor painting, this, isn't it? Mm. At this stage now, it's just a matter of finding these tonal areas, darker bits. And dropping them in. Use the side of the brush as well. Use, if you do that, you'll get a nice I'm sat down quite close to the picture now, so I won't. The more you look at these things, the more you see, but which is not good because you don't want to put trying to put less detail. Once you get a bit of dry brush, just go on its side. Try and simulate some of the rocks. You can always use the edge of your paper, take the, <coughs> some of the rocks, some of the bricks. Use the edge. Don't need them all, just a few. It's a nice shadowy area in there, isn't there? Where that's... Sometimes, as it dries, just put clean water back on the brush, and just sort of soften it down somehow. Didn't quite come off how I wanted that. Mm -hmm. Keep rubbing my brush on the side of the. You can try going downwards as well. Not depends on the paper. Just tease them in. <coughs> Just drop it down. Once you get the rigor in your hand, you're stuck. If you've got smooth paper, it's a slightly different technique, much harder. I think they probably have to paint each individual brick in one at a time. And it does work. Just got to get the right amount of um, paint to brush and just <coughs> once, you've got, once you've got the right amount of dryness on the brush and then just go along even on um, hot press paper you'll get the it will create some brick work Beautiful. Well, I've got my palette. It's just that's the dark bit, and there's the little bit of um, just finding it. Find a little bit of darks and build them up. It's a bit of a shame. Yeah. It's good exercise with a rigor of this painting, quite frankly. For you. Um, at the end of when you've finished, if you want, then you feel I, I haven't done it for a long time. But if you've got um a fine pen you can add some pen lines to it to some areas mm -hmm. just selectively and you need a little bit and just look for some really strong 
highlights or dark lights really and just pencil them in see what happens and you, then you can say I've got a line and wash one painted mm. which is interesting so that's what I used to do when I when I did watercolours which was a long time ago <clears throat> I nearly always did line and wash mm. Mm. I enjoyed that. It's a good way of emphasising certain mm. things, but it's not as straightforward mm. as just sort of pencil, you know, drawing no. lines no, no. all over the place. You have to no, be so selective pick, with it. Pick them out here and there, yeah. Yeah. Less, mm. Well, like I said earlier, today's lesson is... Well, today's... Problem is, less is more. You can find, um, just look at it and try and put less in rather than more. But it's a good exercise with, um, well, I'm finding it with brush, different brush methods. So I'm using mm. little bits of dry brush quite a lot yeah try and just making putting paint on the brush and rubbing it on the on the board here and then transferring because it's now dry i can just flick it around and pick out a few um bricks with the aim of um at some point it will dry back and then we can just add some more colour to it and, and pick some of the, the little bricks out. Great fun. It will be here till about half nine tonight mm -hmm. trying to pick out all the bricks in this thing. I'm so pleased I'll put those windows in. Oops. I think the um, maxi mirror is just close your eyes, squint your eyes up and look for darks and shadows and put them in. It was a a, a full a full blown commission painting. You know, a different animal, isn't it? Then we're mm. then we're going to be, you know, much more cautious and picking out every sort of stone area that we can. To um, you know, but it's not it's not that pit that sort of picture. Well, I don't. I've got enough time. I'm, I always I'm always rushing as it is, mm -hmm. trying to get a result at the end. See how strong that ultramarine blue is, and that's um, put in the rose madder in, which is itself an extremely uh, high staining colour, but it's in order to get back to the, whoops, wrong colour, to that sort of nice shadowy purple that I was trying to achieve. I have to put quite a lot of purple into it. Yeah, rose madder rather. Make it dark with some burnt umber. And if you want to be really Funny. Put some green in it. Don't ask me why, but it makes it go a really nice shadowy tone. I forgot what I was going to do with it now. I mixed it up. That's not unusual. Uh, what I wanted to pick out was 
this one here, which is quite nice. Just going to put a little bit of colour of clean water, just blend that down. See if I can pick out that flower pot uh, acorn, isn't it? Mm, wow. Looks like an acorn. Is it an acorn, Chris? Looks like a sort of an acorn thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm just zooming in on it. And it... I don't know. Mm. It's just an ornament, garden. Yeah. A garden <laughs> thingy. <laughs> what a better term. But it's, I think when you come to try yourself, you'll find that it's a brilliant exercise for using um well in the watercolor anyway <clears throat> dry brush because if, if you once you've got a bit you can almost scrub it on i think there should be some darker areas up here trouble is um oh uh, i'm <clears throat> thinking it's gonna look like well I know what it's it's gonna look like someone sat there and tried to paint it which if you can maybe you can Jane might maybe you can do it um just get to paint with a Paint the whole thing with a, with a mop, with a mop brush, and see what happens. You get a much looser finish. Now this group is truly international, isn't it? Now we've gone up to Yorkshire, <laughs> Belgium. Where else was it? That's London. Wasn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's quite fun. Oh, it's not looking terrible. Not at the moment. I'll soon sort that out. Mm -hmm. I think I'll do that my book. What I say. Let's get a bigger brush. So number number six. And start having some fun because it's getting a bit, a bit silly. I want to find some some interest. Especially in you. One colour. Just painted over my acorn. <laughs> Was. Okay, so sort of, we'll let it rush, let it, um, let it rest for a minute. Yeah. So anyway, when you come do yours, use a bigger brush. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. It's some. It's personal preference what you want to achieve, isn't it? How you want it to be. There is no right and wrong. That's the beauty of it. And what is interest fascinating is what it looks like and how you feel about it tomorrow when you mm. come back. And then it's like all change, isn't it? You think, oh, God. Let's, um... But I did say right from the start, as soon as you put um, raw sienna in the sky, you categorise yourself, in my opinion, anyway. It become, the painting becomes um, a watercolour that you've seen other people paint. <laughs> David Bellamy and his books. Um, painting landscape, you know, it's almost that, but there you go. 
I'm so pleased that um, that I introduced white into my palette. Though I'm just putting some um, shadowy bits down from the chimneys and down from these areas because it gives the thing a bit more depth, doesn't it? So I'm soaking wet here, this paper. Somebody washed the loo seat and somebody came along and sat on it. <laughs> that was what I was saying earlier. I've gone have a word with my wife. Have a word with Mel. <laughs> I'm not particularly concerned about that. I mean, it was a surprise. It was like a prank that you play at her in school or something. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, oh, no, what's going on here? I'm using this um, sort of dry brush <laughs> mix of burnt, it's burnt amber added to the little flesh that tones. I did it, I had raw sienna, burnt sienna, and burnt amber together, gave me, and anything that was floating around, a little bit of the purpley colour, and it gave me a sort of a shadowy colour. You can add some blue, but it's only ever those those mix, uh, three, four colours at the most. And I'm just scrubbing my brush on the side just to get any um, excess paint off so I can use it as a dry brush. It's a brilliant technique. If you can, once you master it or you, Oh, I don't think you ever master it because it's always a surprise. But if you do that, rub it on the side, you're guaranteed it's you're gonna get it's not gonna be too bad, it's not gonna be horrendous. Once you get it going, uh, a sort of and it is dry and it's you can just scrub scratch away for ages. Some parts you want it to be quite strong and others not. It's a brilliant um, thing to, to learn and suss out. Worth a fiver just to find that out. <laughs> but once you start, it's really great fun because you can start putting in um, because this is dried because I, I did it early, didn't I? I deliberately thinking I want that to dry back. A bit like game chess, isn't it? You have to plan you, in your mind's eye, your picture. Um, you're always sort of trying to be four moves ahead of, of where you think you would, well, where you're actually painting. You're actually thinking about what you're going to be doing on the in sort of what area of the painting you, you're going to be using later. Um, hmm. It's lovely. That's your holiday here. Mm -hmm. I, think I, I don't think you can book it. Not, not like um, Clavel's Tower. Remember that one over at Kimmeridge? Yeah, I went there last year. Put that. Yeah. Worth Jane looking that one up if you're not aware of it. <laughs> Kimmeridge Bay is a sort of local tourist thing over at, towards the Purbex, over that way. And it's it's got this sort of um, folly with the, a tower stuck right on the end of the, of the headland, of the cliff. Yeah. And... Um, I don't know who's got hold of it, National Trust or whatever, but you can actually go and stay there. I think they a lot of people that, um, <laughs> no, brilliant place, but uh, honeymooners, weddings, uh, you know, mm -hmm. after your wedding, you, you stay at the, the tower overnight. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of uh, room, just have a party. <laughs> 
it's like a bedroom on one level, isn't it? And then a lounge on another level. Mm. It's just a, it's just a just great. Yeah, it's mm. really weird. Mm. This area of paper, you can't see it in that on that light, but this area of paper is still wet <laughs> from all that time ago. Try and find some. Huh? Yeah, that's a shadow there. If you've got um, Terry Harrison's shadow tone, probably come in handy with this picture. If I get my rigger again, at some point. I mean, this is the task probably for the next week. Going, going around this picture, look with the rigor, looking at dark areas and just popping them on, you know, saying, oh, there's a bit, that's darker. We'll add a little bit more, oh, shouldn't be that, you know, this is going to go on for a week. It can go on forever. But the the only way of you won't get it right until it is a personal satisfaction thing. Well, considering I started off with a white piece of paper, I don't think I've done too bad. Either. No, good. Just had a message from um, Anne, Anne Coleman. Anne, yeah, she's back, but she says too late to log on. It's got well, it's, um, it's free, it doesn't cost her anything. Yeah. Well she can have a laugh. <laughs> how much how much how much lighter is her wallet though? Oh she just says paperwork from uh, doctor to sort out. Once you get into once once they get old here in spec savers, <laughs> oh we've got a problem here, Mr. Harvey. It's going to cost at least 400 quid for a new pair of spectacles. I haven't been for about, well, since the lockdown for sure. So, a couple of years. They keep sending me a thing on my, a message, you know, special offers and all the rest of it. I will go eventually, but I'm too busy spending all my money on telescopes at the moment. Okay. A money pit that is, I tell you. But be so careful. Well, the telescope I sold the other day, I sold it for three and a half thousand pounds. Wow. I mean, that's just, that's more that's more money than I've ever spent on a car. <laughs> Sixty-seven years, all these years of driving, I've never. Spent that amount of money on the car. What I'm going to do here, looking at, just looking at the, um, I don't know, I know I always, I don't like it, but where I've put these darks, oops, <laughs> I don't like it even more now. I'm just going to add. It's just a bit of uh, my favourite colour, which is ultra, not ultramarine. I'm just add, I've got some out on my brush. Clean water under it, and I've just decided that I'm going to let it drizzle here and there. But going on top of where it is, it's fine. Sorry, there. What I was going to do before, before I call it... Well, what I wanted to do was do some sort of rock things, um, perhaps about here. If I put raw sienna, I'll have a laugh. Anyway, mm. he doesn't care, does he? He just chucks paint on and it goes everywhere. Hopefully there's a method in this madness. 
Now I just want to put that on. Hopefully it's not going to dry too quick. Then a load of the dark on. Just using up stuff that's in the palette, really. Everyone knows what's coming there, don't they? Mm. Mm. Yeah. And I'm pretty confident in my little thing of grab a tissue anyway, just in case. I'm just going to use my, I've got this little palette knife here, so I'm just going to scrape it all off. See if I can get a nice sort of rocky. My hand's not what it was, Dave. I was this sort of like a few rocky bits, but they're going the other way. On the wrong way. Never mind. Wipe it off the brush. It's not very good. Of course. Even the palette knife has to be the right one, doesn't it? Or the right flavour. As it happens, that one's a bit bendy. So, I think in my pocket, I've got this little pocket knife. I'm going to use that. Try and wipe off anything that I'm not happy with. Crashing away like an old end. A bit more contemporary, isn't it, that way? If you're not happy with it, just tease it off. I think it's it's okay, it just needs to blend, soften down the fore edge of it. And a brush. Not just a brush, the right brush. Yeah. Everything's drying so quick. Well, the bits that I don't want to dry are drying quick. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's an option. Oh, when you get to certain stages in pictures, it all becomes a bit more frenetic, doesn't it? It's like, got to get this sorted. Do that, do that. Oh, quite, well, it is for me anyway. So I want to... Getting back to that dry brush thing again now. I can add a few darker lines to this. Using burnt amber. It's the only dark I ever use, isn't it? Mm. Burnt Amber and Ultramarine. So it does have a, a use in my palette. Burnt Amber and Ultramarine. It's the only sort of shadowy tone that I, that I use. And I don't use black very often. Well, I don't, I don't actually have black in my palette. The St. Petersburg um, paints that I've got, they've got black in them, but I've never used it. Neutral tint is quite nice. It's a lovely colour. If you, you can use that quite a lot, but you don't need much of it. Dave, I'm going to have to disappear. What time is it? Am I waffling? It's on? just after it's just after twelve. Oh right. You know, it's that, that time for me. <laughs> I think um, Ocado, Ocado just turned up and been and gone here. Oh lovely. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least the one thing I can say about Sainsbury's is they're very much on time. Um oh. I think this is going to be a challenge this week. Mm, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, I'll say cheerio to everybody and okay. uh, stay stay warm. See you next time. Okay. Bye, Joyce. Bye. 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 Bye.
I'm still putting in bricks. I can find them. There's a few stronger ones over here. Need a longer brush. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent about these glasses. To tell you the truth, it's the first time I've ever painted from scratch with them. That's probably one of the reasons don't go to the opticians. If they give you new glasses, it's a whole new world. <laughs> Painting pictures becomes totally different for a little while. You've seen acclimatise. That Andy is, he's going to die, or if he hasn't already. Well, yeah. Which Andy is that? Is, that's Andy not the Mason, Andy. The Reverend Andy oh, Mason. Not the Andy that used to come to class. No, he's, he's, no. he used to pop pop through quite a lot. Walk yeah. through. He's, oh. the, he's a reverend. He used to be oh, in, you know, coming to church. And um, yeah, so there's a moral there, isn't there? If you break down, don't be careful don't what you do. Yeah, I've heard that before. Yeah. Just got, well, I don't know the full story, but the gist of it is that he, he broke down, got out of the car and got got clobbered by another car. Mm. And, um, and that was it. Well, he's he had a, a he's in hospital, obviously poorly broken leg and all the rest of it. But he's had a big, big stroke, and uh, oh, yeah. that's it, gone. Well, his his parents sent me a an email. It's a bit raw sienna. I'm just using raw sienna to warm the thing up. Um, sent an email saying that they were um, they were with him on Sunday with like a load of family, and. Sunday evening, and they all said their goodbyes. Um, yeah. How old is he, Dave? I don't know. He ain't that old. No. His daughter, um, Hope, is only, you know, 12. Th I think in probably late 30s, early 40s. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not very good on age things. On no. That's oh, really sad. Yeah, it is. And I'll... I must admit, I don't usually get I don't, I don't get sort of teary or anything like that about these things, but I must admit, when I was sat here yesterday thinking about um, all the stuff that we used to do, I'm just using a, um, the rigour and some, some of that dark now, just to okay. highlight, try and highlight a few um, areas. Um, when I sat down and I thought crikey, I only heard from him he only emailed me a couple of two weeks ago not this Friday 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 week to say Dave I've got a, written a book I've got a, I'm going to launch the book at the church could you come around and you know do the music for me you know do, do some music and I when I said oh, I said, I'm sorry, I can't. I said, I am going to church on the Sunday. I said, but it's the, and it's the same brand, URC, but I'm going to, um, I've booked to have me jab, my booster jab in one in the evening, which is when he wanted me. So I couldn't go. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done it with COVID stuff anyway, but Mel, well, I would have, but Mel wouldn't let me go. Yeah, so... In a funny way, but we did a lot. I did a lot of that. We used to have these sort of doing church different and uh, Christmas different things, and I used to go and play the music for them. Mm. Yeah, we used to go to Christmas lunch together and all that sort of stuff. So when I sat down and realised he he's played quite a quite a busy part of my um, church family life, you know. Yeah. Uh, I feel fairly sad now. Yeah. 
especially such a young family as well. This time of year, it's always well. It went pear shaped, and he split up with his missus um, last year. Mm. So that's been a bit of a shame. Well, those sort of things happen, don't they? Yeah. I've had enough. I'm going to stick some some raw sienna. Look, I'm actually going to put. <gasps> oh, what is that? He put his arm. Oh, can you believe it? Got me swearing on camera now. <laughs> Never mind. But what are they? That's a, it's just the um it's good that oops. I say if, invariably something like that happens. But if I add a bit of raw, raw sienna to it, it'll turn turn it a bit greener. Bit C. Bit of a C green. Perhaps add a bit of that shadow in amongst it to Make it look like there's something going on. One night ago, swimming in that water. Always <laughs> a good idea to um, stick a what's the name? Mine out of way, Boris. What I called my. My cow pit painting was Boris. <laughs> Someone's bound to come along and say it's not a Boris, it's a girl. <laughs> because of the cut, I don't know enough about it, really. Even though I'm a, a wurzel, I don't know the ins and outs of cows. <laughs> um, yeah, well, it is what it is. Yeah. It's a watercolour. Yeah. Well, in that short time I think you've done a good job. I know, job. I was just thinking that. Well, the um... Take me about seven days to do that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. well, the, the thing about this type of picture is um, when it dries, oops I've got some bleeds here and there, mm -hmm. when it dries you can have a look at it and think it needs to be really dry and then add a, a wash over yeah. the building where you want if you want it like uh, like this area here I'll do it with a uh, bit cleanish water so you could say drop some clean water on that that side just a hint of lemon yellow or and just drop it on or even raw sienna no, no. will warm the thing up you know change it completely and you can do that a lot to mm. different but it needs to be dry so that it doesn't spoil everything else but you can see it's already done it it'll blend and carry the thing up well, it'd be interesting to see how mine turns out in acrylic. I paint in acrylic, Jane, in case you're wondering. So I get all the basics from Dave. I'll send you a link for that. Um, that stay wet palette thing. But you can see what I'm doing. What I mean, if you later on when it's dry, you can add more colour, less colour. Yeah. yeah. So there's no definitive thinking. thing that says this building has to be a particular colour because we can argue that it's capturing the light that's reflected in its surroundings, which it would do. And well, it's the artist's way, interpretation, isn't it? Hmm. Something like that. So that no. 
Jane's mm. Jane hasn't got any sound. I didn't think she could hear because she didn't oh, answer. Right. Yeah, she's just said she can't she can't get her she can't hear anybody. <laughs> well, luckily I'm recording. Yeah. So she'll be. Um. She doesn't know what to do to try to get the sound back. <laughs> Well, if you message her, say, well, I'll, I'll send the, the, um, I can't the video it. later anyway, so she'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. This is just raw sienna. I'm just warming the picture up, putting a little bit of, and that's me done, mate. Very nice. Um, to yeah. That. It's really good. For an hour. Just for yeah. an hour. Yep. Yep. I'm going to swap cameras and see if I can help Jane. I've gone off. I can't get the full screen again, just on Dave. I've just got the four pictures. I've got the wrong glasses. I'm not going to log out and log in again at this late stage. <laughs> I'm all right at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think I'm... <laughs> There's always something that goes wrong every week, isn't there? Yeah. Somebody. Technology. Yeah. Hang on. 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 Hang Jane's thing has come up as muted, so oh, it's right. on her thing. But not to worry, I'll send you the video. So. Uh, right, my visitors have arrived. Where's David? <laughs> Try how long? Like, how what time is it? Um, nearly twenty past. <laughs> okay, just don't go. Do you want to say hello to Kathy, David? No, that's him. I don't know if he's got his sound then. No, I think he's on the other. Oh, he's got out of the camera, is he? Can oh. you not hear me? Yeah. We can hear you. Can you hear us? I can't see you, though. I can't. Is Jane back on sound? No. No, not, not as far as we know. Uh, uh, that's a nuisance. And I can't do anything about that. I can mute people, but I can't unmute them. Right. No. Well, I'm sure she'll realise when she yeah. when she eventually watches it. Sorry, we lost you, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Hope to see you next week. What's Kathy doing? Is she is she just come round for lunch? Yeah, yeah. Her and Rob have just come in the door. But you, we can't see you. She was going to say hello to you, but um, hang on. you're on the other camera, so it don't matter. I can see me now. I can yeah. see you now. Hang on. I'll go and find Kathy. <laughs> I can't. Right. Kathy. There you are. Say hello to David. <laughs> Hi, Dave. You are right. Oh, look at her. She's got a lot of dark hair. <laughs> oh, right. I'm gonna go. I'll see you next week. Yeah, okay, Chris. Yeah. Um, okay then. I'm gonna Thanks, go David. as well. So uh see yeah. you next week. See what next okay, week then. brings. Yes, it should be interesting, shouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, Thanks, okay, Dave. Bye. bye Chris. Bye. Bye. I'm going to wave to Jane, but she's not looking at the moment. Just reading my messages. <laughs> she's concentrating. 
I know she's still trying hard. Yeah. Anyway, I'm off. Yeah. I'll see you next week. Okay. Yeah. Bye. 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 Stay Bye. well. Yeah. And you? No, she's still not looking. <laughs> She'll be the last man standing. <laughs> oh. Well, Carol oh. didn't turn up. I haven't heard Yeah, her. But, no, I haven't heard from her. So, uh, see, Jane's gonna. Looks like she's frozen there. Oh, no. Technology, all the problems. <laughs> um. She must be typing a long letter. <laughs> oh no, there we are. Ah. Oh. She's borrowing. Ken is her is Jane's husband. Right, right. The astronomer. Right. Okay, well, I'll see you next week, Dave. Thanks very much. Good. Oh. oh, right, she's saying goodbye now. So. Yeah. Gone now. <laughs> just saying that she was just getting her. Uh, oh well. She loved my picture. Yeah. Well, we all loved it. <laughs> oh. It's funny, isn't it? I see when you first start off, when I, when I first start off, I'm looking at it thinking, ooh, this is yeah. <laughs> but as you get to what it's that last 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Last, sometimes bit. it's the last sort of five, six minutes. Yeah. It all, it all suddenly becomes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what um, Lady, uh, what's her name? Edna used to say at the church when she first used to come. We'd be there all morning. She'd do her thing. And she said, David, David, can you just do your magic on it? Everybody would <laughs> be going out the door. Yeah. And just get the rigor, put some darks in. Once yeah. you do that, the whole thing just lifts and that, yeah, yeah. Everybody was going, oh, you do <laughs> it's only that that sort of burnt amber blue and a little bit of purple, maybe uh red, crimson. Yeah. Just the darks to shine everything up. Yeah. Rigor work. Yeah, you make it sound so easy. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway. All right. I'll see you next week. That's a, Thanks that's very a, much. Yeah, I enjoyed that today. Yeah, yeah, it was good. And please don't remember to press the record button, otherwise I'll <laughs> be happy. I'll have to watch out for that next week. Remind you. <laughs> You'll probably remember next week. Awesome. <laughs> okay, see you next week then. Just Take now. care. Bye.